Paul Bendik Giska, only a saxophonist, would be like calling Norway warm year-round. Yes, that is his instrument, but what he does with it is what elevates him into a new genre. Yeah, I don't I don't I hate titling myself. Through physicality, vulnerability, and endurance, Bendik's celebrated performances have audiences marveling across Europe and around the world. Born in Oslo to artist parents and raised in Bali, Bendik eventually came back to Norway, where he... I was in a constant culture shock. I was always kind of uh, the other. And then I started studying jazz. Bendik studied in Trondheim, moved to Copenhagen, spent time in New York, went back to Oslo in his 20s. Are you following me? Berlin could be a place where I could find a little more elbow room and maybe just a little more connection to the European continent. Movement and body are very important to Bendik, whether it's exploring a sense of queerness to a new generative way of performing. I, I started figuring out Kind of on the saxophone, what if, what if instead of pursuing some sort of tonal progression or harmonic progression, what if I pursued movement? Everyone must have been so intrigued and excited by this perspective. One of my professors, he looked me dead in the eye and he said, that thing with being very sort of theatrical on stage, just stop. <laughs> Good thing you never listened. But can't all of this, this exploration, furthering, experimenting, the unknowing, isn't it hard? How do you deal with the stress of it all? I really made my practice all about a prolonged exhale. And for me, kind of dealing with the world, dealing with life, dealing with all the impressions from uh, outside and also from within, it all works out if I can center around breath. When I play, it's kind of seeking out an experience for me. And I know that I can get to this kind of realm of experience and realm of discovery because I go there quite often. At some point, I can feel that I have forgotten the fact that I have to relate to a stage space or relate to an audience. I can just fully exist in that space. Bendik is known to have riveting performances, transporting audiences in a state of elation. Humor and, and experiencing joy together is, is one of the most profound things that exists. Let's talk about your relationship with Monk. I think the thing that really inspires me about Monk is kind of sticking with the themes and over and over again investigating these motives. It's time for the Monk Questionnaire. What type of music would Monk be into? I think he might be more into nature sounds. How would you describe Monk's fashion sense? Utilitarian. Monk's favorite mode of transportation? Probably be the bicycle. What would you say to Monk if you met him for the first time? You want to jam? Would Monk travel to space? No, no, no. Monk would uh, find a comfortable spot where he could be alone, and uh, he would just stay there and not travel anywhere, I think. And here ends the Monk questionnaire. My practice is really about listening to what's out there and what's possible, and what people have done before me, and how I can contribute to that conversation, how I can take something that I really enjoy, something that I found particularly beautiful, and pick it apart and understand what goes into there.